everybody. I'm Callie Patrick, sleep wellness coach who incorporates yoga therapy into my coaching programs. And today is the last of the video series for uh, side sleepers. So hacks for side sleepers who might wake up feeling uh, tight or stiff either in the middle of the night or in the morning. And the last item I'm gonna talk about today is the neck. Um, and this is true for any um, sleeping position really. Um, the belly down position is a little bit more challenging, but if you do sleep on your back, this, this applies as well. Um, so one of the things that I notice about pillows, and if you follow me, you know I don't recommend any specific products, so if you make pillows, please don't contact me. <laughs> um, but one of the things that I notice about pillows and the position of people's heads is that the neck is, is never really in a, in a good uh, supported position. I wouldn't say never, but most of the time. Most of the time, the pillows that we use to sleep are um, going to tilt the head either in the down position, right, neck down, head forward, which we do all the time, and we know that some of the problems with that, um, or the head is tilted, the chin is tilted up, and so the head is thrown back, and neither of those are comfortable. What we wanna do is to hold the neck in the most neutral position possible, and that will allow us to stay asleep much more easily during the night. So as you can see here, hopefully this height will work, but if I lay down here and I go to sleep on my side, you can see that the top of my head is up here, my chin is down, right? So my neck is kind of concaved in on this side and it's stretched out on the other side. Okay, so if I remove one pillow, and just toss it aside and do that, and you can see the opposite happens, right? My neck is, is higher and then my head is sloping down. So what we're really looking for is that point where everything is kind of straight across. And so I know, hopefully this will work again from the photo, but I'm gonna use a yoga blanket here. You can certainly use a pillow for this, but what I wanna show you is that, that correct alignment. So if I fold my blanket, and I believe what I did last time is folded it in thirds, made a little bit of a roll. What you're looking for, in addition to keeping the, the neck in a neutral position, is really to just fill the space um, underneath the side of the neck. So instead of tilting the head in one direction or tilting the head in the other direction, you're looking to just support right under here. And most people use something that is too high. Um, you could be using something too low, but in general what I see is something too high. So if I use this blanket fold, I'll have to check this, but hopefully you can see that my neck is much more in this neutral supported position. And then I could do the other things that I mentioned in the other videos, right? I could hug the pillow, I could support my knees. Um, actually, this looks a little bit low to me still. Um, so, but neck in that neutral position. And it might feel a little strange at first, especially if you're used to sleeping in the position where the pillow is too high. But if you do wake up with neck pain, or you find yourself waking up and sort of having to switch positions quite a bit in the middle of the night, um, this could be helpful. Um, one of the things that people often say to me is I wake up with a headache. Um, that can certainly be from a number of different things. However, a lot of headaches, including migraines, are the result of uh, neck and shoulder tension. So we want to pay special attention to the neck as we're sleeping on our side. So I hope you enjoyed this video series, Hacks for Side Sleepers. Please visit my website, Callie Patrick com or calisleepcoach.com to find more uh, information about how to sleep better and uh, I hope to see you again sometime soon. Have a great day and night.